one. Jamie, what was it like being back at your old club? Um, yeah, it was okay. Yeah, reception obviously was very good. Um, so yeah, it was good. First time I've been back. Uh, just a shame, you know, I ended up with my with my one opportunity, which uh, you know I didn't take. So I'm, I'm just disappointed, really. It's been sort of one of those seasons for me where I've not really managed to get a run of, of sort of games and goals going. So I've missed maybe too many like that where you know I would normally take. So I'm probably five, six goals. You know, worse off than what I probably should be, and you know it's not been good enough, you know, personally for me. So I've not been not been too happy. And today was sort of just typical of that. You know, the game I'm in and out of it, and you know that one chance comes along, and I haven't been able to take it. And um, you know, like I say that's happened too many times this year, and um, you know I've been disappointed. You got well over 250 goals. Can you put your finger on why every now and then those chances are coming and just not being able to quite put them away? No, I don't know. Um, Say training's been good. Uh, I've been scoring well in training, and obviously I started off okay, got my goals and stuff. And for some reason, just um, you know, I've probably had four or five that uh, you know on a normal day I would expect to take. I mean, I expect to score every chance I get, and I know you don't do that, but there's just been too many this year that, that I haven't managed to take, and, and that was one of them. Whether it's been too relaxed or just my decision making. Normally, I tend to make the right decision on on the chance I get with you know what technique I use and, and if, whether I lob it, shoot, volley, and, you know. And I think a lot of those chances I've I've not made the right decision. Whether I've shot too early or just the execution that I've, I've chose hasn't been right. And obviously, you know, like I say they haven't they haven't gone in. So it's been frustrating, you know. I have to say. And then with that, then I've obviously not not started as many games probably as I'd like to not fill out the team because of that. Um, so it's been a year that's been very up and down, and um, you know it's not been great. I think that's my 20th start. I've got eight goals, like I say, which is, looks okay, but I really should have maybe 12 to 13 with, with the chance I had, maybe pushing more. And, you know, when you say that that starting 20 that I should have 15, it probably sounds a bit outrageous, but I think with the chances that I've had, there's definitely be between three and six goals that um, you know I think I should have taken. And it's just been one of those years. It's been very frustrating for me personally, and. It's probably coincided with results we've had, where I've maybe had chances at games where we could have either killed them off or won them. Um, and I take responsibility for that. You know, I've done that all throughout my career. That you know, I've always put myself at that end. That you know, I score goals and should win, win, win games. And it's not happened. So yeah, it's been frustrating for me personally. And the fire still burns very strongly. Mm. Just listening to you talking to us. <laughs> yeah, definitely. You know, like I say, I, I tend to know when if I'm missing chances because maybe my age and I'm not fit enough. Um, but I'm getting in the positions, and it's just a case of execution. Um, I've trained all year. Um, in training, I feel good. You know, when we have five hours and stuff, still feel sharp. Just training, still scoring goals. So it's just a case of, for some reason, it's just not happened really. Um, and you know, that's what's frustrating. It's not like I'm not getting there, and I'm, I'm you know, missing because I'm a yard short or something. I'm actually getting the chances. And you know, I've always said, if I'm in in games and I get chances, I normally score them, and I'm still getting them. So. I don't see any reason why that uh, my age has had anything to do with the reason I've missed chances. I think it's just been one of those years. You know, it's not the worst year I've had, so um, you know I can take that. And uh, it's just really, I think it could have been a lot better, and that's what's frustrating. You know, I come here after getting 20 odd goals last year and expected to do the same. And I think if I'd have took maybe those chances, I would have played more games, and I think I would have probably pushed for 20. But it's not to be. And you know, hopefully I can maybe you know finish the season off with a couple of goals, uh, play a few more games, and, and obviously go from there and, and see what happens next year. What do you think might happen next year? I have no idea. Like I say, coming in here, I was expected to maybe at least get 15 plus goals, and it's not happened. So it's down to the manager. You know, I've enjoyed being here. Um, it's not been a great season all around us for all of us, um, but personally. You know, I, I don't know. Like I say, I was brought in to score goals, and I've not, not scored as many as I would have liked, and probably as many as the club would have liked. Um, but I still feel fit, I still feel fine. I don't feel any different to what I did last year. And like I say, it's just been a case of just not taking those chances when I've had them, um, and that's been frustrating. So like I say, we'll see what happens. But um, I still feel fine that, that I can go again next year. Um, and it's again, I'm out of contract as normal every year. Once, you, once I've turned 30 plus, you know, because you only sign years, and you have to wait and see. And, Sort of that's why you tend to move on or whatnot because it's only year contracts and sometimes you do enough and sometimes you don't and you've got to sort of rethink you know and, and, and sort of wait in the summer and hope that someone feels you can do a job for them and hopefully it's Cheltenham but like I say I, I have no idea at the moment. If Cheltenham were to offer you a contract, you'd like to stay? Yeah, I'm more than happy. Um, like I say it actually would be nice to stay at club <laughs> for more than a year because it tends to be that way where you know you sign somewhere and 
it's a weird one. Maybe if I'd have scored 20 plus goals, you've got a host of clubs wanting you, and then you make decisions. And I've always said you go the other way where you don't, and you're scratching around. And that's why I put so much pressure on myself that I have to have a good year every year at my age. Um, and hopefully, like I say, they've seen me in training. You know, I've done everything they've asked of me. I just haven't, you know, took those those chances when I've had them. And, you know, it might only be five or six chances that I maybe should have scored, but that makes a difference. Um, other than that, I've completed games. Like I say I've trained. I have got, you know, a few goals and shown what I can do. And like I say, I don't think my age has got anything to do with why I've missed. It's just been my execution and decision making. Um, again today, you know, I chose to love him when maybe I shouldn't have done, and just normally I would maybe just put my foot through it and flick it across him. I think that's all it's been, but you know, I'm running around, I'm still getting in those opportunities, so I can still do a job. You know, I've got no no worries about that. But again, it's just uh, you have to wait and see, I suppose. I'm always, uh, I've done it for the past five years, where you sort of sit come the end of the season and you wait and see. Um, and again, it'd be the same. And if it's a no, I then obviously have to go around and see what else is out there and hope that you know there's a club that would you know feel I can do a job. If it's a yes, then brilliant. You know, um, it makes my life a lot easier, believe me. Um, but. You know, we have to wait and see. There's still four games to go. Hopefully, I can play in them all, get myself into double figures if I can, and then see see where we go from there. It, it is a slight old one because, other than you know that injury on the opening day of the season, you, you, you've not missed games to injury, have you? No. You know, you've been absolutely fit and raring to go every time. Yeah, exactly, and, and that was what I've tried to do. You know, I've, I've not missed training. Um, I've been available, I think, for nearly every game. Like I say, apart from the shoulder injury. Maybe that had a bit part to play because I started so well and I felt fit, and it, it maybe a bit that took its toll. Maybe getting back and getting my sharpness back. But yeah, I've been available every game. If I've not played, I've been sat on the bench waiting to play. Um, I've not missed training. You know, I've not been given the extra day off here and there like you know you'd sort of expect. So yeah, like I say, I feel fine. You know, after games, obviously you're still stiff and whatnot. But you know, I could turn up Monday, train again all week, and be ready to go for Friday. So yeah, that side of it, I feel good. It's just a case of whether you know the club feel you can do a job for them, I suppose, and whether you come into their thinking. I don't know what the, what the manager's going to do. There's a lot of players out of contract, and the squad might change again. Um, but you know, like I say, I have to wait and see. It's nothing that I'm not used to, but um, it would be nice to suddenly say, right, here's another year. You know, you don't have to move around. You don't have to worry about it in the summer. But um, I'm big and old enough to, to realise that if it is a no, then I have to sort of get my head down and try and find somewhere else and you know get going again because I believe I've still got a year or two in me and still want to want to play. Um, so we'll see. But like I say it's been been disappointing. You know, I'd like to say I feel I've let let myself down and, and, and the club down because I think a lot of the chances I, on a normal season I would score and I would be pushing you know 15 upwards, but. Like I say, it's just happened. You know, like I say, it's not the first season that I've missed chances. And I'm sure if I play for two more years, I'll, I'll miss chances again. But um, I've tended to score, you know, those sort of chances, and that's what's been frustrating for me. Oh, one player about playing up with you and has that hit the number mm. of goals. I'm sure you'd have loved to yeah. have scored 15. What do you yeah, make definitely. Yeah, I think he's done great. You know, when I come here, I, I was, I've said he's got a good future, future if he puts his head down and applies himself. Um, I think it's the most goals he scored, um, and he's scoring all types of goals now, like that, it's a little scrappy one, poked it in, and that's sort of what happens as a forward, you get on that run, his goal last week was great, um, he's a handful, and he should be playing at a high level, personally I think, you know, he, he definitely could be playing at League One level, and causing problems, but that's down to him, you know, it's all in his hands, he, he has to apply himself, 15 goals is great, I think again, and hopefully he thinks the same, he should have 20, you know, he's played enough games, and. I'm not saying he's missed chances, but I think he could have pushed himself that bit more and, and could have ended up with 20. There's no reason why he can't. There's still four games to go. Um, but it shows you he's got ability and he knows where the net is. Uh, he's, a, he's a big lad. He's you know, a target man. There's not many target men that get 15 plus goals. Um, and on his day, when he performs at this level, you know, people can't cope with him. Um, I've enjoyed playing alongside him, um, and hopefully he can kick on and you know finish the season well and do it again next year. And if he does that. Then he he get his move and he play at a high level, which he should do. If he goes backwards and sort of sits on his laurels and thinks oh, I've done all right, then he'll stay at this level. And I've sort of told him that it's it's, it's in his hands, definitely. Um, and it's great to see. Like I say he's a real laid-back character, um, <laughs> takes it all in his stride and doesn't like I say maybe push himself like other people do, but it works for him. And uh, he's shown that. Like I say 15 goals is great. That's in a team that. You know, we, have, we haven't played great and we haven't created a million chances and we've struggled and to get 15 goals I think is, is a good achievement and like I say hopefully he can get another two, three, four more and, and, and get as close to 20 as possible and that would be good for him and hopefully then he carries that on into next year.
you hear very different characters, aren't you? you yeah. After a game, you know, you're frustrated, you're very open. He, he, he does appear to be more languid, and that mm. obviously has an impact sometimes on how you know the supporters see him. Do you, do you yeah. think they give him a, a fair crack of the whip? Um, maybe not, but it's sort of you have to get to know him definitely. And, and there are games, and I get frustrated with him when you'll see him, and he does look like he's not interested, and he doesn't maybe try, and he drifts around, and uh, you know, he doesn't do a lot. Um, that's sort of him. It's not that he doesn't care, but that's his sort of nature, and that's what I'm saying. If, if he can get another ten percent on top of that with what he's got, then he will move on and he will, you know, score more goals. But because he has that in him, I think you can see at times, you know, we see it and we get frustrated where he won't be interested. He doesn't look at it. And he's not in a game, and obviously the manager brings him off, and he has no impact whatsoever. And I just think for a player like himself, if he's not having a great game, if he just maybe did that extra showed a bit more run around people would go oh you know he's not playing well but he's doing that but because he's not got that nature he does look like he isn't bothered and that's where I think players and fans get frustrated with him but but it's not that he comes off he, it hurts definitely you can see it he just doesn't show it and he doesn't you know speak it and you know it's just him he's just that sort of character and I think maybe that's why he hasn't maybe had the seasons that maybe we would expect you know I, I would expect him especially at this level to be scoring 15 plus goals every year but I think because of that nature, and sometimes he does get a bit disinterested. He, he tends to have those years, and I think that's why his age he's still in League Two. Because you know I've played with players that aren't as good as him that are in higher leagues and, and having better careers. And sometimes it is that little bit extra that you just push yourself a bit more, a bit more sort of I don't know passion. It's, it's hard to put it to because he's, he is passionate about his game. You know he is, but just maybe there's something that just burns away every now and then that he just you know oh well it's one of those days I'll sort of let it happen. And that's why I think he's at this level at the moment. If he can maybe just get a little bit more out of himself, then uh, you know he will have a better career and he will play at a higher level. But that's down to Byron. You know, no one else can sort of make him do that. Um, hopefully, this year has shown him that if he does apply himself even a little bit more, you know, there's a lot more from him. And I say he's a, he's not so much wasted League Two, but I think he should be playing at a higher level. Definitely, there's a lot worse players playing higher than him, and it's a shame when you see his talent and what he can do on a given day. He's unplayable. And he just maybe needs to do a bit more. But like I say, with 15 goals, I'm sure people are looking, thinking, OK. But they want to see it week in, week out. And then if they come in the days where he is walking around and bouncing off him, managers will like, OK, well, we don't, you know, and that's where people shy away from him. Whereas if he's having that day but still running around and, and, and doing a bit more, then people go, OK, we'll take the odd day that you don't, you know, play outstanding. But when he has them days, they're normally bad ones. And um, that's where I think he... You can go up and down with Byron, and it's a shame. But you know, hopefully he'll, he'll learn. Like I say, he's still young, and he's still got a lot of time to, to improve. Never any doubt about your commitment. Uh, did it bring a bit of a lump in the throat. You were substituted, and you had you know terrific reception. Yeah, substituted. Yeah, I didn't really expect it. I, I expected a half decent reception because of you know I had two great years here. Um, but yeah, to get a stand ovation was brilliant. Um, I was more disappointed coming off to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it was nice, you know, and it was you know, giving me a chance to say thanks to them. Um, but yeah, I mean, I was probably, like I say, more annoyed that I was getting substituted because you know I wanted to stay on and, and try and sort of make amends for my chance I'd missed. Um, but yeah, it's great. It's, it's, it's nice to come back to clubs and get receptions like that because there's some clubs you go to and for whatever reason you don't get you know appreciated too much. But you know, I, I've been very appreciated here, so it's, it's been great. Listening to you here, you know, you're talking very much like the senior pro. When when it does eventually come for your time mm. to call it a day would you like to go into coaching management yeah I think so um, I'm going to take my start my badges in the summer um, I also like media work so watch, watch out, out. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm sort of trying <laughs> to do <laughs> I'm trying to do a bit of both to be honest um, I've been doing radio work for Norwich um, the odd game on, when they're on a, on play on a Sunday I've been going up and doing co-commentary um, and like I say I'm going to do my badges now um, I just feel it's been my life so you know why, why sort of stop and, and come out I might as well go back into it and, and try and give a bit more back. So, uh, yeah, either way, whether it's coaching or media side or um, recruitment, you know, anything to do with football, I'll, I'll be involved in it. Um, but, yeah, coaching management, um, I feel I've got you know, some sort of thoughts on the game and ways I'd like to play and, you know, putting teams together. Um, so, yeah, I, I'll definitely, uh, you know, I won't just quit and, and be out of the game. I'll, I'll have some sort of input in it. Jeremy, thanks so much. Uh, no problem. It's going to be a Harry Williams... He's mm. 20 years younger yeah, than you. Yeah, the, the, the other spectrum, really, for me. <laughs> yeah, what do you think of his, his debut today? Yeah, yeah, I thought we'd done okay, definitely. It wasn't a, an easy game for him because, you know, we said before the game, try and make it as comfortable for him as possible and, you know, try and help him out as much as possible. But I don't think we played great, so 
it's hard as a young lad if you know we're not keeping the ball and we're not on top of a game. Um, but I thought we did okay. I just said to him, just relax, you know, enjoy it. You know, make sure you enjoy the occasion because this is your first, you know, your debut. That's it. Once that's done, you, you sort of everyone expects more and more. So I thought he did all right, and it's good to see that he's been given his chance because he's he's been with us all, you know, most of the year now. Obviously Zach as well, and uh, the only way they're going to get better and, and you know if they're ready is by playing them. Um, and you need to play more. I mean, you don't have to look at Exeter. They've got a lot of young lads that have been given a chance early on. And they're probably 20, 25 games in now, and you can see the difference. You know, they're similar ages to, to Zach and Harry, and they look confident and composed. And you need to be playing to get that. You know, Harry's first first game didn't do nothing wrong. When you look at him 10, 15 games on, you'll probably see a different player, more composed, and um, you'll probably get a lot more out of him. And I think that's what you've got to do. If they're good enough, you've got to blood them. And, and put them in, but it's been a season the same like with Exeter. You'd rather be giving kids a chance when you're doing well. When yep. when you're struggling, it's, it's difficult. Um, but fair play, you know they've come in, they've done well. Zach's done everything's been asked of him when he's come on, and I'm sure now they've got to be looking in their head. Right, next year I've got to be pushing to try and start and try and play 20, 25 games, and that's the attitude they should be having. You know, as a kid, you know, don't worry that you're young. You should be wanting to play and saying, well. I'm doing better than him, why not? And, and you have to be that way. Otherwise, you'll sit on the side and your career will tend to just filter away. And I'm the other way, I want to keep them out because I want to keep playing. And, and that's sort of what football should be about. You know, you should all be pushing each other. But it's, it's great, you know, you want kids to be coming through. You know, it's nice to see, you know, you've got young lads coming through and starting their careers. And, you know, hopefully they can have good ones. Yeah, you got over 20 here last season. Mm. Obviously, you played a lot more games than you played over yep. 40 games. But do you think, were you getting more chances? In Exeter, um, or was it just maybe possibly, yeah, but I don't think I was missing maybe the chances that I was missing sort of this year. I, I, I can remember some that I've missed definitely at Exeter, but I played more games. Um, I was always in the team and always finishing games, and um, maybe the chances that, that fell to me, I took more of them than I, than I have this year. And um, I'd say I'd probably had more chances, but again, I, I've played 20 more games, so you would expect to have more. It's been hard coming on, especially yep. I normally tend to come on. I know what it's like when I'm a sub. I'll only come on when we're losing. I'm not the sort of, I, I, I get that, you know, when the team's winning, unless it's 3 up, you get your little cameo, but I tend to be when you're a sub, you're looking around and you know, once we go down, they're going to look to you to come on and it's difficult. So, um, yeah, I suppose knowing that, knowing you're going to play, that was another thing, being here last year, I, you sort of, I'd established, got my goals quite early, so you knew that you were sort of going to be playing. Um, so, yeah, it's difficult. Like I say, seasons can go up and down, you know, so easily. Um, Going into the year, I, I, I tipped myself that I thought, yeah, I'll get 20. And, you know, to get eight, I had a fairly quick, I suppose. I, but it's sort of, like I say, it's pitted out, not played enough games. You're in and out, you play three games, you're out. It's very hard to get a run. Um, and it's come down to, I think, of those little chances that I've missed. If I'd have scored them, you play more games because you're scoring and the manager has to keep you in. Um, and that's sort of how it's been for me. Um, so, yeah, it's been it's been a frustrating year, I have to say. Starting off with the shoulder, I mean, you start scoring after 16, 17 minutes and then you're out for 10 weeks. And yeah. I think that, that's maybe played a bit of a toll, but then saying that, I come back, scored straight away. So, it's difficult. But I've never had, you know, where I was here, probably I would have played 20 games on a truck. And I think sometimes as a forward, you need that because you know you're going to play, you know the manager's trusted in you and you, you probably feel a bit more relaxed and you're taking your chances. Where I think when I have started, getting 60, 65 minutes, I'm thinking, I'm not scored, I'm coming off. And that then plays on your mind as well. And it's not healthy, but I suppose that's because of how my season's gone. Those sort of things have, have, have all sort of coincided. And I think that's why I've ended up with eight goals and, and not 15 at the moment. Yeah, it seems like at times he's he struggled to, because results have been brilliant as well, but mm. struggled to work out how to get you into the team. Yeah, to, I think so. Because you probably expect to be playing at front and Byron every week, mm, but 